13 and 0 and the title of the first ever national champion of New Zealand. This historic feat was done by Matt Rogers playing a signature dash, winning 30 matches in a row. Sam Sutherland, winner of the Calling Auckland, now the 2023 national champion. And yes, he will keep getting away with it. Dash Adventure Extraordinaire released an Arcane Rising, the second booster set of Flesh and Blood, marked Dash's entry into the World of Wraith alongside Guardians, Warriors, Ninjas, Rangers, and more. She played similar to aggro decks of other games and even future heroes with a very small restriction. Her attacks have the keyword boost. As an additional cause, she may manage the top card of your deck. If it's a mecha knowledge card, your attack gains go again. Sacrificing your deck to go wide on a turn was how Dash was meant to win games, with power cards like Combustible Courier, High Speed Impact, High Octane, and Mechanic Shockwave. She also played items such as Plasma Purifier, Induction Chamber, and Technocore, and she also had one of the very few consistent weapons in the game, Techno Plasma Pistol. Let's circle back to those early builds of Dash, and we know it's a common theme. Lots of defense reactions and a lot of blues. Control Dash took the early years by storm blocking out on your turn, firing her pistol for 2 and 2 on her turn. This at the time was when a lot of decks could not outvalue her. This became even harder when plasma purifiers were involved, adding more damage to your pistols. There could be a scenario where you swing 15 damage at your opponent without losing any cards, and this is where she shined. Nobody in the game could do late better than her. With the release of Everfest in 2022, we started to see a shift to a more aggressive boost focus build, the one I believe LSS intended. T-Bone giving you the ability to force equipment block for zero cost, and Techno Pounder giving you more damage on your first boost. Dash was able to become the best aggro deck if less uncontested. People then took it a step farther by adding Talishar, letting the birth of Wombat Dash become a reality. A glass cannon aggro deck that just sent everything it could at the opponent, no matter what it had, started to have success in the beginning. As quick as it found success, it started to crumble. Its inability to resist fatigue dropped at many tiers for high level players. Jacob Ball, T. Haibu, and Isaac Stanley seen a problem and found a solution. As quickly as everyone forgot, Jacob and T brought Control Dash to US Nats, picking up a lot of success, picking on the Iceliner and Odoms at the time who were dominating the meta and was even able to get 5 trouble, which was the worst matchup for the deck. Just show the versatility that the deck can do when piloted by a good player. With an updated list being all known control plan, the meta was in trouble repeating itself. Isaac Stanley, also known as Siphon TCG, came out with his control dash guide soon after, putting the deck in the eyes of a lot of people who have never seen the deck played in its early days. We fast forward to today, and with Odom ascending to Living Legend, the deck lost one of its best matchups. Icelander at the time of recording is in the 800, so the deck could soon be gone. This will be the test if the deck can adapt without its good matchups being in the format. Will it still have a place, or are the days in the sunlight fading away as we slowly speak? You don't hear much about the deck anymore outside of a few small groups. We've seen decks like Iris Dromai, Axe Strength, the attempt to become the new Control Dash. Can anyone really replace her? Agro Dash is now shifting around to more of a mid range build so it can pivot between both styles, having success winning a calling, but that's about it. A random top, a random calling, but a lot of people really just don't look at Dash as a threat anymore. With bright lights, this gives Dash a new chance to be back in the spotlight, but will it be enough? 
will these make this one spirit hero relevant again? Or is there going to be the same hero with a new set of wheels or a different coat of paint? Dash has a dedicated fan base and regardless of the outcome, they have been eagerly waiting on this new support. Will one of them become the next Matt Rogers or Sam Sutherland? Will Isaac ever update his control dash card? We wait for these questions to be answered in the coming months. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to comment down below. Which you guys want to see next? Like, forever, and subscribe. It's been your boy Cypher from Cypher TCG. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.